Hi guys, so in today's video we're going to be taking a look at the BlackBerry Q10. Now this is a brand newly released phone that we just got our hands on. It is the full black version from BlackBerry. It's exactly the same design box as you remember we did the Z10 unboxing. Um, it looks exactly the same so I'll give you a little uh, show of the box. So it has a Q10 at the front. Um, on the side it just has some important information about the phone. Uh, the back, well nothing really that important and on the side just a black gray logo okay so a simple overview of the box and now let's get in so um there you have it the blackberry q10 with its 3.1 inch screen and the qwerty keyboard uh, but before we look at the phone we're gonna take a look and see what it actually comes with so take off the top layers in here you have the power adapter so it's just a pretty generic power adapter that you've uh, been accustomed to from BlackBerry. It's a nice little size and has a USB port so you can plug in your cable. Uh, so let me just pull out the cable. Oh, um, I guess they have some manuals in here. Before we go to that, let's just check out these manuals that comes with. Uh, it's just nothing. Okay, so it's just explaining a little bit about the smartphone, quick start guides, and then um, the actual in-depth manuals. You can use, read these if you like need to, but they're really not that important. Uh, it comes with a headset for this version. So it does look like a nice pair of headsets, in-ear headsets from uh, BlackBerry, uh, something that you could probably use when you're running. It has flat wire construction uh, and it has a little mic so you can answer your calls when you're on the go along with the clip, which is kind of important if you've ever uh, ran with headphones on. Anyways, uh, more on that in our review. Okay, so this is the uh, transfer USB transfer cable uh, power charging cable, and it's very proprietary, I guess. It has the micro USB or mini USB and the regular size USB, branded with BlackBerry, of course, and it's pretty simple, just a cable. Um, and we have the battery for the phone, so let me take that out. So this is a 2100 milliamp hour battery, so it should give you decent or uh, good battery life actually, because it is a small size screen on this phone. So taking a look at the phone, I'm gonna take off the back cover for you. The back design is very, very nice. It looks like carbon fiber. No, I don't think it is, but it just looks like it. And then the front, let me just take off the plastic cover for you guys. So you can see it's a really nice looking device. Uh, the keyboard's very nicely laid out. I think the black version actually looks a little bit better than the white version, uh, just because of the look. But uh, let me take off the back and I'll insert the battery and we'll turn it on. Okay, so take, to take off the back cover, it's pretty simple. You just slide down and pick it up so it just pops off. And then from there, you can take your battery and align the sides. And there you go. So it pops in. Uh, your SIM card can go in there. And then your micro SD expansion slot goes right in here. And then you have your camera, which is an eight megapixel camera. Of course, you have the flash. Um, just gonna put the cover back on. Um, on the side, you have the transfer ports right here. And then a speaker at the bottom along with the microphone. So it picks up your audio. There's a 3.5 millimeter uh, headphone jack for your headsets to go in. Uh, power button, that's where you turn on your power. And it has some uh, microphones up here so it, when you're recording some stuff it gives you good clear audio um, on the side it has uh, volume up and volume down buttons of course uh, the middle button assignable if you remember from the Z10 or Z10 if you are watching from the States so overall it's a really nice looking phone let me just go ahead and power it on you'll see it's running BlackBerry 10 OS and it's your standard OS that you saw in the Z10, but uh, just a smaller screen size. And now this is a 3.1 inch screen running uh, 720 pixels by 720 pixels, so it is a square. So inside the phone, it's running a dual core 1.5 gigahertz Cortex A9 processor. Uh, it's pretty powerful. Uh, it has two gigabytes of RAM. Uh, it supports all your latest functions, including uh, NFC, Bluetooth, uh, wireless systems uh, from A, B, G, and N. It does not support the new AC standard, but it does support dual band, uh, hotspots, of course, uh, USB, micro USB version 2.0. It has a two megapixel camera up front 
and it has an 8 megapixel camera at the back with LED flash, expandable memory with SD card. You have your accelerometer, gyroscope, proximity sensor, and compass built in, uh, supports HTML5, and a whole bunch of other stuff. It also has a mini HDMI port for outputting video if you want to. It's generally a very nice feeling device. Uh, it looks very good. The keyboard's nice to type on, it has good feeling. Uh, the screen is multi-touch, so you can actually uh, touch two parts of the screen. And the OS does a very nice job. I have not logged into it yet. This is actually what the hub is, the BlackBerry hub. Um, it's a very nice addition to BlackBerry, so it's something different. Um, the screen is very responsive right now, uh, so I do love that. Um, it makes it really easy and makes the BlackBerry user experience way better. Uh, it has all your apps. You have the BlackBerry World. Now, uh, there is a lot of criticism out there that there still aren't enough BlackBerry apps out there. But eventually, as these devices become more popular or, and more developers pick up the applications, uh, you'll see more and more apps in the BlackBerry World application. Um, it comes preloaded with everything that you see here. So Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, LinkedIn. Um, I didn't put any of that on there. This is just basic setup. And it has a whole bunch of other features as well. Uh, security wise, this is supposed to be one of the best phones out there. So we're gonna be doing a review. This was just a quick look at the phone. As you can see, it's a really nice looking phone. Um, if you guys liked our unboxing and quick look, please make sure to subscribe to our channel and uh, stay tuned to our latest videos. Thank you guys for watching and we'll see you next time. Hey guys, how's it going? This is Watch from the MW Technology Channel on YouTube. And in this video, we're doing unboxing and quick look at the Samsung Galaxy S4.